Baby Game 2. Break the game and get the flag. Welcome to Baby Game 2. Navigate around the map and see what you can find. The game is available to download here. There's no source, so you'll have to figure out your way around the map. You can connect on port 55826. Use WSASD to move around. There may be secret commands. Now, I hope you've watched the Baby Game 01 video uh, because that's going to be really helpful here with Baby Game 2. I've loaded this program into Ghidra and we have here in the move player method the same thing we have before. So typing L is going to allow me to change my player character to be something else. I'm going to be able to walk off the screen and update other memory. WASD moves me around. P solves the round. That won't be important to us this time. But being able to change things off the screen to be what I want is going to be important. So we'll look here at main and I've created a little notepad document that we'll walk through. So we'll look at the beginning of main. At the beginning of main we see that the old value of the EVP is being stored the new EBP now points there. And then they push the old value of EBX, the old value of ECX, and subtract 2720 from the stack pointer. So that all happens at the beginning of the method. The stack pointer is currently right here at the bottom of those 2720 bytes. And when we look at the move player method, the move player method is called here. We subtract four more. We push the map, which is at EBP minus 2709. So 2709 bytes below here is the beginning of the map. We then push uh, EAX and the address of local AA8. And then when we do this call, the return address is going to get pushed on the stack. That return address is going to be 08049709. That return address will be, remember we were at 2709 from here, so we have 12 for these three things, 11 to get us to the bottom of the 2720, and then one, two, three, four more to get to that first byte of the return address. So you add all that up, and that should say 39 bytes, I think, if I add properly. All right, so 16 plus 11 is 27 plus 12 is 39. So we need 39 bytes before the beginning of the array. So 39 bytes before the beginning of the array. Oops. We're going to go into the web shell. Okay, so we're going to connect up to go 39 spots before we do W, 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 A, 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 A. So now we're at the beginning. If we just go 39 bytes before, it's going to crash. And it's going to crash because here in the move player method, we're going to be referencing those parameters. And those parameters, as you recall, are on the stack. So we need to get from here to here without doing this. So I'm going to jump an additional time. So I'm going to step up again. That puts me 90 more bytes up. Now I'm going to go backwards 39. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. And then we'll step, oh, we need to change our character, right? I forgot about that. So we want to go to win. If we go to win, win has this nice little knob thing and we can land anywhere we want in here. So 
Um, we'll just try to land on that 70. Hex 70 is the letter P. So if we go back and look at move player, we can change ourselves to be a P by doing LP. And then we step down. And there you'll see I've landed directly on that last by the return address, which has changed it so that I now jump correctly to the win method. And then I can put that in here and grab my flag. So again, the key principles here where we needed to move before the beginning of the array. The array grows up in memory. So we were moving before the beginning of the memory to clobber this byte of the return address. We computed it was 39 bytes away. But if I actually walked across these bytes, I was going to fail. So I jumped 90 bytes, an entire row, walked my 39 bytes, and then used the S key to jump back up into exactly the right position, specifying this now being changed to 70, which put us into the middle of the win method, right here at the, near the beginning of this knob sled, which will then open and display the flag file. And there you have it.